Hey, Southeast Gasser fans, I'm David Lancaster, the voice of the Southeast Gasser. This recap video is the start of a new style we're putting together for you as we move forward. This is the third race of the 2024 season, and we're in the beautiful countryside of Xenia, Ohio, at Kill Care Raceway. Kill Care Raceway was built by the Marshall Brothers of Alpha, Ohio, and first opened in 1959. The track has a strong history of racing, many different classes, and is still running strong today. All right, this is the recap of the kings of the sport, A-Gas. These cars weigh six pounds per cubic inch of displacement, and they will be the fastest cars you see on the property today. All right, Chase Howard up here in the first pair on the A-Gas for first round. Chase Howard's gonna be over in the mortgage options lane on the right side. He's gonna be taking on the number 11 qualifier, Grant Murphy in the honky tonk, he'll be here in the quick time performance lane. Howard's car launches hard, goes left, he transfers it back to the right and takes it on to the wind. Next up gonna be the number four qualifier, Kenneth Phillips over in the mortgage options lane in the 58. Corvette, the Silver Street 2. He's going to be racing Barry Lynn from Greer, South Carolina in the Little Red Wagon. Kenneth Phillips takes that one right there over Barry Lynn, but Lynn's giving him all he could handle as Phillips had to drive it through the top end pretty hard. Next up gonna be Todd Blackwell. Over there, the number three qualifier, gonna be taking on the Doraville, Georgia racer, Rob Walden in the strict nine. Rob Walden turns on the red light and sees it immediately. He's up to and Todd Blackwell drives it through the big end at a nice elapsed time. Ben Christopher out of Bowling Springs, South Carolina, and the number eight qualifier here in that Chevy 2 will sit in the mortgage options right-hand side. And the Wapaka, Wisconsin driver Greg Stelt in the 57 Pontiac, the Joker. He's going to be in the left-hand side in the quick-time performance lane. We got the red turned on. Looks like track officials have seen something on the racetrack. Christopher all over the racetrack trying to recover. He is out front, but he has too much wiggle in it. And Greg Stelt stays straight and gets down the racetrack. So Dean Jonas in that 66 Chevy 2 of his that he calls the Agent Orange over in the mortgage options right lane. Quain Stott here in the 48 Anglia. The Executioner 2 will be in the quick time performance lane on the left side. 
dot, as we've documented before, running the only small block in a gas competition right here today in that executioner two with a less than 90 inch wheelbase on that Anglia right there. Donald's with a good lead. He's right with Stott. This is a good drag race. Stott goes to the victory and will move on and face Leslie Horn, who does have a bye run coming up. Gorgeous sunshine beaming down on the track right now, shining off that chick magnet as Robin Harris brings it up to the line, getting Leslie Horn ready to go into the beam as he is going to try to make a pass here for lane choice as he, as he takes on Stott coming up in the next round. He will have lane choice against Stock coming up in the next round. Sounds like some big blocks coming around the corner right there. First one going to be Todd Blackwell and Kenneth Phillips in that match. Their big one right here, folks. Todd Blackwell out of Campobello, South Carolina in the 65 Chevy 2. The slingshot. He'll be over in the mortgage options lane. And here in the quick time performance lane, you're going to have that newly dropped in there. Jeff Taylor big block in the Kenneth Smith. I mean, Kenneth Phillips entry. Phillips goes into the pre-stage first. Now both drivers are staged. Here we go. Kenneth Phillips wins, but he was beaten off the line, so Kenneth Phillips comes from behind. Battle of the big cars right here. Man, look at the smoke right there that these guys did. They got those Mickey Thompsons really sticky. We've got Chase Howard out of Greer, South Carolina. Over in the mortgage option lane, you find Greg Stelts out of Wapaka, Wisconsin. Howard all out of control. His car's waggling around. He doesn't get out of it. He drives by him. Wow, the rear end sashaying all around the racetrack for Chase Howard. But he keeps his right foot buried in the floorboard, and he wins. Number one qualifier, Leslie Horn, in the quick time performance lane here on the left-hand side with the 55 Chevy, the Chick Magnet, small block, full power plant, the choice for Quain Stott, who sits in the right-hand side in the mortgage options lane in the 48 Anglia. Wayne Stott playing a little cat and mouse. He better get in there. And he trees Leslie Horn. Oh, my goodness. That was a tree job and a half, and it takes him to victory. The veteran, Quain Stott, puts that good brain to use, and he plays cat and mouse with him and leaves Leslie Horn sitting at the line. Man, Leslie Horn out ETs him, but not enough because it's who gets to the strike first. And that was Quain Stott. Let's see if Quain Stott can pull another rabbit out of the hat right here and rattle the 17-time winner, Kenneth Phillips. And Stott does it again. Kenneth Phillips red light. Quain Stott has pulled it out again. The veteran driver. Chase Howard going to make his pass right here. Okay. 
Folks, you can call this race the tail of the long and the short of it as the 48 Anglia of Quain Stott, a sub 90 inch wheelbase, small block Chevy from Gene Fulton Power Plant underneath that car, Scott Duggan's Par Race Engine underneath the hood for Chase Howard, 477 cubic inches for Howard. touches the wall. He's going to be fine, folks, but that car got out of control. Luckily, not a hard hit for Chase Howard. That car got out of control. Chase Howard touches the wall. Nothing bad. I think he's already moving around and out of the car. Wayne Scott will take the victory while our attention goes to Chase Howard. All right, Quain Stott, a gas champ right here. Quain, now, I've been in this, and you've had me in this role that you've had me in for many years. I only remember one other time, and there's some crazy circumstances, but this is your first real win in Southeast Gasher. You're taking the trophy home. It's my first win elimination style. Yes, and yes. We, re, re, when we first started, it was, it was uh, the Chicago style match racing because we only had 10 or 12 cars. So it was me and Greg Porter won just about every one of them. I mean, everybody would be a, a somebody come in, you know, and win. And Shannon Smith come along. He started winning a bunch of them. But when it turned in elimination style, I won Darlington, and and then we had one at Darlington, and then I won Indiana, but I got kicked out for stopping at my pits. So then this is my first. This is my best win. I'll put it that way. This I remember meant, that. This meant more too because I don't own it anymore. I can win now with pride and not have to worry about people saying, "Well, you're to win your own organization." And that was my next question. That leads me right into my next question. Without the extra things that you have to do as a owner and promoter of this event, and that you don't have that burden on you, I saw you drive like the old Quain Stott. You were using your head. You were using the wrenches. You Did that make you feel more like you were back as a racer? Yeah, I'm a racer now. I'm not a, I'm not a uh, promoter. I'm racing. And I could never win before, so I didn't try. And we've still got a long way to go. We don't still don't have the race car we need. It, this car is just like I told him. Anybody thinks it's easy to win this car, jump in it and try it, because this thing is a handful. It's the most fun car I've ever owned in my life. But it's the hardest car I've ever tried to drive in my life, which, you know, me, I love a challenge anyway, so it makes it fun. But if I'm going to be here to win, I've got to stop having fun, and I've got to start, start coming to race to win. So we're trying to get a new car built and hopefully get it done 40 years out and maybe make a show at the end of the year. But... I mean, this put us probably third or so in the points, so it might give me some incentive to work a little bit harder. We'll see. Well, and Quain, this car was built in your speed shop, and it's back with you as, as your property now. Wheelbase sub-90 inches? 92 inches. 92-inch wheelbase, a handful for these cars. Not much better than golf cart. But, yeah, I originally built the car for Ben Christopher and then Ben run it for a couple of years, and then we bought it, I bought it back from Ben just because I love Anglia. And, I, you know, to me, Anglia just, you look up gasser in the dictionary and there'll be a picture of an anglia but they're not good race cars <laughs> but also the combination that you've chosen to put in this car makes it the first small block to win in a long time in a gas yeah i think kenneth had a small block in his when he won this year at shady side okay he's big block now and right now at this particular race i'm the only small block left in a gas and we're going to we're going to stick with a small block at least the rest of this year because I, I would like to prove to them that small blocks can still outrun a big block. Well, that's the way you've lived your whole life. You like to be the little guy that jumps up and grabs them and, and takes them on, and as you did in with the 2006 World Championship. And, Quain, we're glad to see you back out here really competing and giving it your all. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. And, and like I said, Leslie and him are doing a great job with Southeast Gasher Association. It could not have went to a better person. He's got a great crew. He's got a great tech department. I just told him a while ago, I said, what you're doing in the tech department is what I always wanted to do and was never able to. So I think it's going to go to the next level, and that's what it needs to do. And hopefully we're going to have you right with us every step of the way. Quain well, Stott, your winner here in A-Gas. Congratulations, my friend.